this is the path and where you need to be and you could be nowhere else. Thanks for joining me. My name is Nichols. It's in these moments of discomfort that your mind tells us these things. It's trying to escape from the battle. Because in the end, those moments of discomfort is where, although it feels you might be defeated, it's also where the victory is. And your mind seems to try and escape from being present in those moments where victory and defeat, one and the same, are occurring. So what your mind does to try and get away from you, your mind tries to tell you, no, no, maybe you shouldn't be here. Maybe you made the wrong decisions. Maybe you're on the wrong path. Maybe you could live a life that doesn't have this level of suffering. This is all lies for various different reasons. But most importantly, you are only ever going to make the decision that you're making because you're now a different person thinking differently, but you would only ever make that one decision. The universe only could have ended up that one way. Certainly there are other decisions in the future that will be informed by the success or failure of previous decisions, but you could only be the man you are and make the decisions that you make. That's all there is. And if you think otherwise, you're simply, that's simply your mind fighting yourself and making excuses and trying to run away from you because it's trying to tell you to think more about other possibilities and the past and the future. Blame yourself for those decisions and say, oh, I shouldn't be here because you know those bad decisions were made. You're basically blaming someone else. You're absolutely right. You wouldn't make those decisions, but you're not the same person. You're blaming, it's really more reasonable just to call that a different person. You're not that person. And sure, you might have to make up for the mistakes that person made. There is a sense of personal responsibility. But beating yourself up about the, the decisions or even just taking into account or feeling regretful about decisions that you made when you were somebody else doesn't make any sense. And in fact, when you let go of the person you were and go, oh, that was a different person, that was a bad decision, I'm going to let go completely of that decision and make totally different decisions in the future. By letting go of who you once were, letting go of that decision and the, and the badness of it or the mistake of it, and really thinking about how you will improve in future, that's how you make the best of those moments and that's how you make better decisions in the future and become someone else who's more positive in the future. In some sense, we almost might call this a metaphorical death and rebirth that happens every time you make a mistake, every time you let go, every time there's a moment of, of I guess, where you realize that you've made a mistake, a thing that you think, oh, I should have done something different. Every moment that happens, that in some small way is a metaphorical death and rebirth that occurs, I guess, in ego or in some, in some fashion. And returning back to this pain that's often driving this in the present moment, this pain is fine. This is just a pain of performance on the, in the present moment. There is no way to be the best version of yourself. There's no way to achieve all the goals and dreams that you deeply want to do, the deep, deep things that drive you. There's no way to achieve that other than to be in this edge of performance where you will run into pain a lot of the time. There'll be elements of pain, elements of pleasure. But as Joseph Goldstein and the Buddha says, everything that has in its nature to arise will also pass away. And pain is exactly like everything else. Pain and pleasure are the same. There's this constant oscillating cycle of pain and pleasure. And everything that arises pleasurable or painful will eventually pass away. So what you need to do is understand this and keep focused on that goal and keep moving through that goal with disciplined, focused effort and understanding you are in fact on the right path. You may use the experiences of the past, mistakes of the past to deviate and move along the path and make certain choices, but you are only making the choices that you only ever could have made at the time. You, you couldn't have made any other choices. That's just the person that you were. Great. Well, thanks for listening, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.